So Carla, Mal, and I are walking towards Devil's Gate or Devil's Pass. Or the Devil's Vagina. <laughs> I mean, once you're here and you're looking at it, you kind of get it. Um, it's about a 20 minute walk from the visitor station. And we're gonna go see how big of an echo we can make. <laughs> yeah. Okay, so I was at a talk and I'm getting to the part where I'm reading Nicholas Earp's part and I pause and I'm like, should I do the accent? But it, sometimes I just say what I'm thinking out loud. So I asked, apparently I asked the crowd, should I try to do a Nicholas Earp accent? <laughs> Illinois, Iowa, yeah. and so considering I just asked the, uh, the audience, they were like, yes! So then I learned. All right, we're doing the accents. Oh, look at there. There's like a ladder if you wanted to go that way. <laughs> Wild. <laughs> Here it is. All right, here we come up through Devil's Pass or Devil's Gate. Oh, wow. And the grass around me is up to my shoulders. Hopefully there's no velociraptors, you know? Yeah, that's what the cranes look like. All right, hello, it's Janelle Maloney, and I am now at Devil's Gate um, in Wyoming, Central Wyoming, Central South Wyoming. And I wanted to read a selection from my third grade grandmother's diary from when she was coming through this area in 1864. And um, right now I'm standing in a field of very tall grasses. Yes, they actually are my height or even taller. Anyway, so I'm reading from her diary on July 25th, 1864, and she says, Past what is called Devil's Gate. The river here passes between perpendicular rocks 400 feet high. The girls and some others have gone to see the wonderful works of nature. I know it must be a grand sight. Oh, how I wish I could have made one of the party, but I must submit. She says the party have returned from their visit to Devil's Gate and seem wonderfully pleased with their sight. They would have not missed seeing it for anything. But Sarah, my third great grandmother, could not come down to see it because she was in a wheelchair and this would have been very, very difficult, even with help, um, to get her out this way to come and see it. And I bet if she was able to get out here, even if someone was carrying the chair or who knows, um, she would have loved to have drawn this. Um, I just, I imagine that would have been um, definitely something she would have preserved with a drawing. It is pretty cool. Mm -hmm. 